If you're a new golfer, it's probably best off not to hit one of these for a while. Let's find out exactly why that is. So you've decided to play golf, and um, what a fantastic sport it is. And you've decided that you're going to buy some equipment or you're going to borrow some equipment, you're off down to the driving range to take a golf lesson or to hit some golf balls. But this is where it all starts to go wrong. You see, beginner golfers would be far better off actually learning how to move the body and the golf club in an effective way before there is actually a golf ball in the way to hit. When you're first presented with a golf club and a golf ball, it's actually very difficult to actually hit the ball initially, speaking from personal experience. And what tends to happen then, the focus very much becomes on finding a way to hit the ball, any way to hit the ball. The damn thing just won't move when you first start playing golf. And you'll just develop a technique that actually just allows you to hit the golf ball, and that's fine. But the real problem with this common scenario is that you're developing really ingrained habits that are probably gonna last maybe even a lifetime. Whatever movements that you're making in order to make that collision take place between the golf club and the golf ball are being memorized. And with enough repetition, it becomes very much ingrained and it becomes your default golf swing. Yep, and sadly, whether you like it or not, the subconscious is gonna coordinate those same movements that you initially made when you present it with the golf ball and you're gonna hit it. Uh, and you make those movements by default. And there's not really a great deal that you can do about it. If you ask a golfer who has actually tried to change the golf swing and tried to reverse this process, you'll find out just how difficult it is. It's really, really very hard. And that's why this next piece of advice is probably the best piece of advice that you'll ever get. Don't hit one of these until you've developed a sound technique, both body movement and club movement, that will create an effective ball flight. We want the ball to actually travel X amount of yards in a straight line and up in the air. We don't just necessarily want to hit the ball. Um, obviously that's the objective when you very first start, you're just focused on trying to hit the golf ball. That's not the objective of golf, it's to propel it in the direction that we want it to go. So take this out of the equation, and even if you're not gonna do that, please make sure that your first golf ball that you strike is with a PGA professional and you're actually in a lesson scenario so that you're not actually gonna develop any poor habits. In that first, anything between sort of maybe two, three, 400 balls, thousand balls, just make sure that you're in a lesson scenario for the first two or 300 balls at least. But again, not to go on, preferably develop your technique without this and then introduce the ball and then you're gonna start developing good habits and then you'll have an automatic goal swing, a default swing, which is much better than what it would be if you started by hitting balls. If you've enjoyed this video, pass it on and share it to a beginner golfer that you know, if you're not a beginner yourself. Press the thumbs up button as well, press the subscribe button. I'll see you all again soon, take care.